guys, how are you? I hope you're all okay because today you're gonna be seeing the new episode of the Brazil World Cup series and it's time for the country of Algeria and so today I'm inviting you to have a seat and take a look at the new makeup all inspired by Algeria by its five colors and the jersey colors and maybe some more, you never know Have fun and watching! I'll first start off with applying the CC Cream from Essence brand onto my freshly cleansed and moisturized face. I'll have a walnut size and apply it evenly all over my face. The shade called Natural suits perfectly my natural skin tone. I'll rub it very well in and blend it all out to prevent any uneven application. Next up, it's time for my Kabuki brush and Holika Holika bronzer in shade number 7. The product is called Jewel Blusher. And I love it because it will make your skin just slightly sun-kissed instead of just very dark. So I'll go applying this one evenly all over my face, having a little contouring in mine as well. With my Etude House Surprise Concealer, I will highlight my face, hiding some little imperfections and dark circles under my eyes. I will go for a lot of highlighting, rubbing the concealer into my smiling wrinkles, under my eyes, on my forehead, in the middle of the nose, under the nose and on my chin. I'll blend everything out very carefully. My little baby is also enjoying my final foundation result. <laughs> Next up, it's my eyebrows time and I will be using the BH Cosmetics Stick Pencil in the shade for blondes. So I will just go filling in the gaps in my eyebrows, emphasizing my natural eyebrow shape. And I think this pencil is perfect because it actually matches exactly my natural eyebrow color. My kitty keeps controlling me. Now it's time to recreate the World Cup 2014 look with my 88 color matte palette from BH Cosmetics. So for today's look, I'm going to be using three colors and those are the white, the dark green like emerald and very hot red. Starting off with the white shade, I'm going to use it as the base and practically cover the whole eyelids with the white color. I'll be applying the dark green shade in my outer corners of the eyes and into the crease. Then blending it very well with the crease brush towards the inner corners of my eyes. With my BH Cosmetics applicator, I'm going to be applying the red shade on my lower eyelids on the outer corners of my eyes, creating a very contrast effect to my green shade on my upper eyelids. Uh, 
and some final touch-ups with the white one on the inner corners of my eyes. Now it's time for my black Deborah Milano eye stencil and I'm gonna be applying this one on the upper and the lower eyelid uh, right against the eyelash line. This is gonna be quite a thin line but it will definitely make a huge difference as it will pop out my eyes more. To me it actually looks like I would be wearing some mascara already if I use the stencil. This can seem a little tricky at first but once you get used to applying uh, your eye stencil line please try not to go without because it is going to make a big difference on your eyes. I'm just gonna finish up making two tiny wings and this is kind of easier if you do hold your skin on the outer part of your eyes a little and the last thing on my eyes of course the good old L'Oreal mascara which I'm soon now gonna be out of <laughs> and I'm applying one coat on my lower eyelashes and about two or three coats on my upper eyelashes and I definitely apply the mascara on my front side of the eyelashes as well as on the back side because it just makes them more dramatic and more visible even The difference between uh, an eye without the mascara and an eye with the L'Oreal mascara. That's it, that's my emerald slash red with a little bit of white makeup. you guys enjoyed my Algeria inspired makeup tutorial in a red, green and white color and if you'd like to keep track of my future World Cup 2014 Brazil series of makeup tutorials inspired by different countries, um, please check it out on my channel or subscribe to my channel or share it with anyone you love. I really love that and I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks a lot for watching. Have fun till next time when I'll be presenting one more country that is not from Europe. I guess I kind of started with this non-European country so I'm going to proceed until the second round of the tournament, I believe. And nothing, you track. Have fun.